So you might be trying to figure out how you can share large files from your Android phone, maybe to other people if you want to send it to an iPhone or Android. It's a very, very basic process. Now there's a few different ways to do this. The easiest way to do this kind of is by actually using something called Google Drive. So it's an application that's built inside of almost every single Android phone. And if you have enough storage, what you can actually do is you can pretty much just make your way over to your Google Drive application. You should already have a Google account signed in and you can just start bringing in files. So if you want to click plus, you can go and click plus and you can upload a certain file if you want to. So if you want, I can go ahead and upload any files that I want. In this case, I can just go and click here. And although this is not a big file, you have 15 gigabytes for free. So you can actually go ahead and upload whatever you want to. And as long as it's below that 15 gigabyte threshold, that is one option that you have. Another option that you have, if you want to actually share a file directly to somebody else, let's say it's a really big file, a couple of gigabytes, and you want to send it to somebody nearby you on the same Wi-Fi connection, what you can actually do is make your way over to a website called snapdrop.net. So you can just Google Snapdrop and you should be able to come to the Snapdrop website. Now, sometimes the Snapdrop website doesn't work, so you have to click on the GitHub website and then you'll basically come into this specific website. So here, what you can do, very similar to AirDrop, you can go ahead and bring up snapdrop.net on really any other you know website that or any other device that you want to go and send a file to. So in this case, I'll go and open it up on my other you know specific device and I should be able to see it here. Hopefully it'll come up, sometimes it doesn't. But essentially you can go ahead and use this as another method of actually going through and sending files. So open up snapdrop.net, find your device within this panel, click on it, and you should be able to go ahead and basically find that specific device and share your files from this device to the other one. And that's another method. So those are pretty much the main ways I'd probably recommend doing it. So there's two different ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button now me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.